This tutorial is going to introduce you to the Pythagorean Theorem and show you a couple of examples using it. Pythagorean Theorem simply states that in a right triangle, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c is the length of the hypotenuse and a and b are the length of the other two sides. Now there's a couple of terms I just want to quickly recap for you. A right triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle. So if I had this triangle here, if I labeled this as a right angle, which is 90 degrees, we could call this a right triangle. Another term is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the side across from the right angle. So I have my 90 degrees. If I were to draw a line opposite that 90 degree angle, this is my hypotenuse. I'm going to label that HYP for hypotenuse. Now, if I wanted to label this as my A, B, and C, I know C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the other two sides. Now it doesn't matter which one you label as A or which one you label as B, as long as you have that C as the hypotenuse. That's the important one. Let's look at an example. Solve for X using the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, I need to find my hypotenuse. So I'm going to look for my right angle and look opposite for the side and label that C. So that's my hypotenuse. The other two sides I'm going to label A and B, and again it doesn't matter which one is which. Remember, the formula for Pythagorean Theorem is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I'm going to sub in the values that I know. Well, C is just our X, that's what we're looking for. A is 3 my B value is 4, so that's 4 squared. Okay, let's simplify this. Well, I know 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3, and 4 squared is 16. Again, if I simplify, I have 9 plus 16 is going to give me 25. Since I want to solve for X, I'm going to have to take the square root of X squared, so I'm going to have to take the square root on the other side as well square root of x squared is x, which is exactly what we want to find, and the square root of 25 is 5. So therefore, our x value is 5. Okay, let's look at the second example. Remember, the side opposite the right angle, that's our 90 degree angle, is our hypotenuse, which is labeled C. The other two sides, we can label A and B and it doesn't matter which one is which. The Pythagorean Theorem states that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Let's sub in what we know. Well, I know C is 13, and I know A is 5, and B is our X. That's our unknown. We're not sure what that side is. Okay, so I need to move everything over except the x. We want x by itself. So if I wanted to move that 5 squared over to the other side, well I can assume this is plus 5, so when I move it over, I'm going to end up with minus 5 squared. That's going to get rid of that. Now I have 13 squared, which I know is 169 minus 25 is going to give me x squared and 169 minus 25 is going to give me 144 equals x squared and again I don't need to know what x squared is I need to know what x is so I'm going to have to take the square root of each side square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of x squared is x. So, therefore in this triangle, we were trying to solve for x, well, x equals 12. And there you have it. The important thing to remember with Pythagorean Theorem is that your c value is the hypotenuse, and you need to correctly sub in. So sometimes you will be solving for c, 
but there are also times you're going to be solving for A or B. So you have to be very mindful of what you're subbing in for.